students voted in favor of the UPass and why we were so confident in this program. Secondly, I would like to suggest that the city's offer of the UPass would not only solve these student concerns, but also benefit the city of Regina. For university students, three main commuting issues have become apparent. One, inadequate or inefficient public transit options. Two, increased commuting costs, being parking and public transit. And three, increasing pressure on an already limited parking system at the University of Regina. These problems can be simply summarized. Both driving and riding the bus have become increasingly expensive and students are looking for more affordable, efficient options. Currently, a monthly bus monthly post-secondary pass costs $260 per semester. At $90 a semester, the UPass represents a savings of $170 per semester per student. These are savings that will be appreciated by a large portion of the student body. Over 3,000 students currently possess a post-secondary R card issued by Regina Transit, representing approximately 23% of the student population that currently uses public transit. UPass stats from around the country suggest that car users begin to adopt public transit use after UPass implementation as well, increasing transit by an average of 40% in the first year. This would suggest that 32% of the U of R's population may be using public trans transit after successful implementation of the UPass. The financial benefits to the city are obvious and fall directly in line with the city's transportation master plan. In this strategic document, it is stated that the part of the city's plan is to elevate the role of public transit. The long-term goal for city transit is to double the, sh the total share of all users from 3% to 6%. For the university specifically, it is stated that the goal is to take the U of R from 20% to 25% ridership. A U pass facilitates the opportunity to achieve transportation goals for both the city and the university. Furthermore, our recent studies demonstrate that 50% of post-secondary students who use public transit <laughs> during university continue to choose public transit as their primary method of trans transport after leaving university. The UPass has the ability to create lifelong transit customers for the city of Regina, thus increasing cost recovery and systemic efficiency as more buses are full on every trip. Additionally, students at the University of Regina represent a demographic that has been shown as highly likely to adopt transit as a method of regular transportation. Regina Transit calls this demographic choice riders, mean they have access to other transportation, but they choose transit. Attracting choice riders has been identified by Regina Transit as one of the major means by which to increase cost recovery. As the U of R population continues to grow, so does the number of choice riders. Recently, the U of R added approximately 600 more beds to its on-campus dormitories. These dorms attract a population that is highly likely to choose transit for their shopping and social excursions and forego owning a car thus remaining opted into the program. The university possesses a high degree of choice riders who are likely to become and remain clientele of Regina Transit. The UPass increases public transit options. It offers students a solution to their current expensive and inefficient transit options. It offers a city an opportunity to invest in a generation of young riders whose patronage will allow the city to reach its goals set out in its master plan, as, as well as improving transit for all Regina in the process. I think this represents a great opportunity for the city of Regina, and if passed, I ask the city to take extremely seriously the first year of implementation. An impressive first year of service provided by the city and Regina Transit will assure a strong student adoption, and that the remaining six years of the contract will go smoothly by attracting all students, including those who may have originally been skeptical. Your time is up. I thought you were going to your text or reading so. Thank you very much for that. Other questions of the delegation? Councilor Hawkins. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Thank you, David, for coming forward again. Um, you say in your presentation, this would suggest that 32% of the U of R's population may be using public transit after successful implementation of the UPass. That means that 68% may not be using public, public transit. I think it's fair to those 68% who don't want or don't need or can't afford uh, uh, to buy, to be forced to buy a U-Pass if they'll be required to buy a U-Pass. I think that's fair. I think it's unfair to expect that 68% of students don't have more efficient and less expensive ways to get to campus. Because currently there are not many options that are 
within a student budget. Um, when we think about the fact that uh, that riders or sorry that uh, transit fares were increased last year for students by I believe thirty eight percent with zero new service provided, I think that is unfair. Sixty percent of the students at the University of Regina now do so by car. Do you think it's fair that they be forced to buy U Pass? That is not the question here. The question here the question is about. I asked, well, that's not the question that I'm here to answer because it is about transit options. Order. There's not going to be a debate here. The question about asking and provide an answer, but there's no debate. Okay, yes, I believe that is fair. We are giving students options. We are giving students options who currently, there's 60, like you, you say, 60% of students uh, use their car. We are giving them options to be able to ride transit in a system that is currently inflexible and not allowing those students who are, I would say, forced to take their car because there are not many better options within the city. You mentioned that after graduation, students become choice riders in terms of what method of transportation they choose to employ. And I think that students before they graduation graduate should also be choice riders rather than being compelled to buy a U-Pass. I believe you do have my script in front of you there. I did not say that they become choice riders. I say that they, choose, they continue to choose taking the bus. They are already considered choice riders um, as set out by the Regina Transit. So, um, yes, that is actually incorrect. Thank you, David. Thank you, Thank you, Councilor Other questions of the delegation? We return to the gallery. Uh, thank you for your presentation. And our next delegation is uh, Jim Elliott.